All right, so today we are bringing alopecia to the forefront, all right? A lot of girls and women are going through it, but it does not have to break you. What's going on guys? It's your girl Easy Breezy and I'm back with another hair sponsor. Thank you so much Royal Me. They sent me a 5x5 HD lace closure wig and I'm really excited about this because this actually came already bleached and customized and when I tell y'all it looks good, baby it look good, okay? <laughs> So my name is Kadeja. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised my whole life. I have alopecia. I lost my hair when I was seven years old. At first, um, I had a head full of hair, but it started off in the back of my head. I had a little bald spot and the bald spot never grew back. So it eventually got bigger and bigger. And then my mom, she began to get a little worried. So my mom took me to the doctors. I went to the doctors and they did test after test. One of my doctors thought I had cancer. So then he sent me to the cancer doctors. I know it was crazy, I was little. And then after that, I had went back to my other doctor, like a dermatologist, and then they told me that I had alopecia. And basically that my hair falls out from stress and like that, um, I don't know, I just had relapse. Sometimes it grows, sometimes it falls out, it's kinda kind of weird it's never consistent so yes you guys if you are not already familiar with alopecia this is basically an autoimmune disorder where your body attacks its own hair follicles all right so doctors say they don't really know the cause of it they say it may be genes or just a nervous disorder but as far as treatments um, they say you can get steroid shots or you can get a hairline transplant so yeah and do you want me to glue the hairline or just kind of like leave it loose oh and also place the hairline where you want it to sit ultimately. I want it a little up but your hairstylist because last time I got an install like <laughs> I don't know like I want it I know I got a forehead but I just don't know where it starts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So now that she told me exactly where she wants her wig to fit, I'm going to mark it with my eyeliner pencil and let's get ready to glue. So I'm like really, really happy for Kadeja and I wanted to do something for her that looked really natural, but also something that she can, you know, keep up with at home. So sometimes I would actually prefer using a five by five or a six by six lace closure wig other than a frontal because, you know, them wide closures, they be given. <laughs> you know, they be given, they be given life and you can really make it look natural like a frontal, but it's easier to apply at home and you don't need a whole stylist and I don't know, sometimes frontals can get a little bit complicated if you want to do your own hair and maintain it at home. But if you can maintain your own frontals at home, girl, kudos to you, okay? All right, so after doing two coats, the second coat I normally do off camera to, you know, eliminate all that extra footage and blah, 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 y'all already know. <laughs> now we're going to apply the wig. And you know, I was debating with myself. I didn't know whether I wanted to use a stocking cap or not. And I just thought, mm, I don't know. I asked her her opinion and she said she wouldn't mind if I don't use a cap. And I kind of felt like it was pointless. So yeah, we definitely left out the stocking cap method for today. All right, so now I'm adding my favorite setting foam. We have Bronner Bros Tropical Roots setting foam. Now, I like this setting foam if you don't already know. I know I have a lot of new subscribers because it's really sticky and it's perfect for doing molding and doing baby hair. But if you like something a little bit more like softer that, you know, doesn't hold so hard, then you can try something like Nairobi setting foam 
or the olive oil setting foam. So y'all, I just, I just want to get a close up on this lace. Okay, this lace is not playing no games. Okay, once again, this wig came customized, fully customized. It was bleached and plucked. So they did a great job. So Royal Me, yes, y'all, y'all did y'all thing. Now, the only thing that I had to do on my own was tint the lace. And y'all know, I don't really be up on the liquid tints no more. I usually do powders and like liquid foundations. So yeah, I probably did a, probably a powder on this one. All right, baby hairs are done. Now we can wrap her up and sit her under the dryer for mm, 15 minutes. Okay, so let's look at this mold. And yes, baby hair, hair is flat, perfect. So as y'all can see, the tropical roots kind of made the top like kind of hard a little bit you know what i'm saying but thank god it doesn't flake so i can always comb the mold out and make the hair soft again without any residue All right, to make this bone straight middle part absolutely flawless, I'm using my brand new Galaxy Girl Pink Hot Comb, okay? So yes, you guys, we have a brand new tool and this will be going on pre-sale very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned. So right now, I really just wanted to, you know, try out the product on multiple models for a couple months just to see if I love it. And y'all, I love it. <laughs> So one thing I realized, okay, when it comes to styling the top of the hair and the hairline and the edges, it is so much easier and quicker to do with the hot comb. Now I'm always going to use the flat iron for the back of the hair and especially the ends, you know, but when it comes to the top, baby, I don't have to do no more small sections and super tiny, you know, subsections. I can just run through it with the hot comb. So for today specifically, I'm going to run over the top with the hot comb, but I'm using barrels to curl the rest of the hair. All right, now let's take our flyaway tamer and get rid of all those cow legs and those stray hairs. Now y'all, this part though, <laughs> like this is not even called lace. This is called scap, okay? S-C-A-P, scap. <laughs> what a lace at.
All right, so all the pin curls are done and nice and settled and cooled down. Now let's go ahead and take it out and comb it out and start sculpting. All right, so the curls are done, combed out, and styled, and baby, it looks amazing on her. Oh, this is so pretty. I know, right on my hold up. It's the lace <laughs> for me. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, definitely. And crazy. it's a closure? Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is great who is this <laughs> okay so it looks great like it's so flowy it has so much movement so i'm just gonna play with it with my wide tooth comb a little bit so i can you know get that perfect shape that i'm wanting it to have and the body that i want it to have so yeah let's just play with it a little bit first off i want to thank her and the sponsors for this opportunity this wig is so pretty, y'all. It is so pretty. Hello? You driving? Or should she go? Look, friend. So, yes, guys, this completes the look for today. Once again, thank you so much, Royal Me, for sponsoring this video with this HD 5x5 lace closure wig. Now, if you guys want this exact unit, I'm going to put all the information in the description below. If you want the opportunity to watch my hair videos hours before everyone else, make sure you join the channel. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications. See y'all later.